all over the top. <coughs> Excuse me. All up Tartars, welcome back to the channel on this one. We'll be taking a quick look at every single Rocket Bunny body kit added to Force Horizon 5 in last month, that's November's update. This will just be a quick video showing off all 21 body kits for 20 different cars. Technically 20 body kits for, tw for 19 different cars because I currently see Ruby RZ and Toyota 86 at the same car, but that's just me anyway. First body kit is for the BMW M3 E36. I'm not, I'm not going to talk much in the video. Just show the body kits and whatnot. But here we go. Okay, the next car is the BMW M3 E46, the newer shape to this. Hold on a second. <coughs> Next, we've got the BMW M3 E36. The same shape M3, most made famous for me by Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Like I said before, I'm actually glad Rocket Bunny. Hold on. That Rocket Bunny is back in Forza Horizon 5. Was, I got a little bit worried, sick. Well, Rocket Bunny is gone, but now they're back. On all 21 cars from previous Forza games. Namely Horizon, namely Horizon 4. And Motorsport 7 and Horizon 3. It was, it was the game was pretty dead about Rocket Bunny, especially 8, Toyota 86, slash Super BRZ, and a few of the Nissans, especially the Sylvias. I mean, as you'll see later on, every generation of Sylvia slash. 218SX has a Rocket Bunny kit. I mean, every generation of Sylvia. S13, S14, S14 facelift, S15, 180SX all have Rocket Bunny kits. There isn't a generation of Sylvia without a Rocket Bunny kit. Okay. I don't know. If I'm going too fast, if I'm going too fast for you, I can. I'll all. You can always pause. The, you can always pause the video if you want to look at the body kit. In different angles, you pause the video if you want. All right, next car is a B Honda. Next is Honda. Up next is a car from my generation, from my era. The Honda NSX Type R, the lighter version of, of, of the, all, the already sporty Honda slash Acura NSX. As far as I'm aware, this car has been in every single Forza game except for Forza Horizon 1. This is these controls are very this is very hard to this is very hard to do with one hand, sorry. This is very hard to do with one hand. This is so hard with one hand. There we go, there we go. At least I'm, at least I won't don't fuck up that much when I'm playing on playing when I'm recording from the Xbox itself anyway. That's enough of that fuck up. And this look this looks like this this body kit makes it look like a GT looks like a GT1 race car. 
Yeah, seriously. I like some of the crazy re-wings that most of these rocket booting cars offer. This, this really made me miss Rocket Bunny so much. On Forza Horizon 5 first launch. Okay, anyway. Next Honda is the S2K. Hold on. Uh, next is Honda. And the S2000. The S2K. Which, like the NSX, the S2000's body kit looks phenomenal. Even with that massive wing on the back. So I'm definitely going to do a replica of the um, S2000 LM race car. From Gran, from Gran, from the Gran Turismo series. From Gran Turismo 3, 4, 5 and 6. By the way, this was a this was a DLC car in Forza Horizon 4 that was part of the car pass. And it, and it was a returning vehicle from Forza Motorsport Horizon sorry, Forza Horizon 1. It was in every Forza Motorsport game on the Xbox 360, including Horizon 1. But got replaced by the S2000 CR. Which was kind of unfair, but now it's back in her in the in the, in the HD. In the HD Xbox games, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, whatever. Okay, next car we have is this, is a token car from Lexus. Well, not a token car because it's Division Toyota. But hold on. Next car is the Lexus RCF, which looks which. Looks like a full blown race car like I like I keep stressing about his body kits. I actually like I actually like these in your face body kits. I don't know why playground games don't know what play why playgrounds have so much trouble getting hold of the rocket money body kits from launch. Well, I'm just grateful that they were able to bring Rocket Bunny body kits back to the game eventually. I know it is wishful thinking, but I hope they bring back, they address Lancia or Alfa Romeo soon. Because Alfa Romeo and Lancia are heavily featured in Need for Speed, The Crew, Gran Turismo, and New Speed, The Crew, Dirt, Grid, and Gran Turismo. Why not Forza? Is this, does that have something to do with the game being set in Mexico? Oh, uh, didn't notice that motorbike before. Okay, okay. Alright. If you want to look at this body kit properly, if you want to take a better look at this body kit, I suggest I, I suggest you pause I suggest you pause the video. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video at any time. Any, in any case, time for Mazda. Next will be the Mazda Miata. Up next is the Mazda Miata MX-5 from the UK like, like myself or Roadster if, if you're in Japan. But people in the US refer to it as a Miata. Well, I call it Miata because, you know, despite being from the UK, I call it a Miata. Just to piss other British people off. And also personal preference. Okay, the next car will be the um, FD RX7. The um, pre face lift, the, one, one of the very first FD RX7s. The Spirit R, which is is by the way a last RX7 which is also in the game but doesn't have the rocket when you kick the older 
preface with Dark 7 does. So when I make cars and video games, I'm going to separate the um, RX7 FD Facebook and pre Facebook because they deserve their own videos. As do the pre Facebook and pre Facebook Sylvia's. S14 Sylvia's. If I if I if I if I Okay, like I always say, pause the video if you want to take a better look at these cars. Up next is the FD Mazda RX-7. Let's go. The next car we have is one of the two body kits for the RX-7. I'm not gonna pause. I'm not gonna pause when I go into body kits, guys. Yeah. This body kit's been in the games of Forza Horizon 3. And the next body kit. The next body kit will, will shock you for this car. This is this Master RX7 is the first and is the first and only body kit in this in the game and Horizon 4. To feature not one. But two body kits from the same brand, and that does not count in, uh, and that does not count for the, for the original body kits, actual IRL body kits. I'm talking about. Cars have had two spo two bumpers, spoilers from the same brand, but not full white body kits. Okay, next is going to be, next I'll be showing you all the second body kit for this car. Look at the front carefully, look. What's the front, they have the front of the car, look. The, uh, this is a, this is the boss kit which makes the front of the car look like the um, RX3, the first ever rotary powered Mazda back in 1973. How about that? Turn it turns the RX7 front end to, to that of the um, of the um, RX3, Savannah RX3. Which, is in, which has been in Forza since Forza Horizon 3, I believe. Or Forza Motorsport, yeah, Forza Motorsport 6, I believe it was in. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, I think it was in, was it in Forza Motorsport 4 or Forza Horizon 1, I could be wrong though. It was definitely Motorsport 6. Motorsport 7 and Horizon 3, that I do know. And Horizon 4. And it's guaranteed to be in a future update in Forza Horizon 5. And the next car is from a brand. Eight cars are from this brand, Nissan. The first Nissan, the first Nissan I'll be showing you is the Datsun Fairlady Z. Hold on a sec. So the first of the Nissans is the Nissan or Datsun Fairlady Z or Z. The first generation Z car. The new 2023 Z isn't in the Forza Horizon 5 just yet, but it's in Gran Turismo, Budget Cars 3, and, um, G and also GTA 5. I need this being unbound. I wonder where this car is in Forza, however. I wonder. Let 
But you know, that's another story for another time, I suppose. I'm going for these cars as quickly as I can. Okay. A couple more pans around this car. And the next car that we'll be looking at will be from... Lex will be another Nissan. The next car we're looking at is the... Um, Sylvia S13. Hold on. Be back with S13. Next is the Sylvia S13 1992. The was born out of all the Rocket Bunny kits. This one has to be the most subtle. Of all the body, of all the rocket body kits thus far, this one has to be the most subtle and most honest evening out of all the kits. I mean, if you want to take a better, if you want to take a, if you want to have, if you want a better look, if you want a, a better look at this car, and by all means, pause the video. The next car we'll be looking at now will be the R32 Skyline. The only Skyline slash GTR with a Rocket Bunny kit. So without further ado, when we look at the Sylvia S13. Okay, let's take a look at that R32. Next car is, of course, the R32 Skyline. Now, this will be the 180 or 240 SX from 1993, the same era as this. And hard to control, this car is hard to control. This game with one hand, but anyways, here's the 180s. I mean, R32 Skyline. If you want to take a proper look at this car, by all means. If you want to take a proper look at this car, by all means, pause the video. Why don't you? Okay, up next is going to be the um, 180 or 240SX S13. Alright, next is the 180SX or 240SX S14. This is the uh, this this is the model from the made for the U. This is a 240 SX you now the model made for the US market, which has a lamer engine than the, J, than the JDM variant. The 180 SX Type X has an SR20. This has a KA24 non-turbo. So this is the American Market 180SX, or T40SX rather. Which is funny because all of the Sylvias and Horizon are, are the JDM models. The S14, the two S14s are the JDM models, not the uh, US 240SX models. This is, is the US Model 1 S13. Weird. The S14s are JDM models and the S13 is a US model. 
and the motorbike has kind of moved a bit anyway. The next car after this will be the pre facelift S14, which is commonly known as the Kuki. I mean Zenki, I mean Zenki, sorry, I meant Zenki. Commonly known as the Zenki. The fa the face is the Kuki, the pre face is the, is, is the Zenki. My apologies for the uh, S chassis. My apologies to the S, -S, 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 -S chassis fanboys and fangirls out there. I got my generation of Sylvia mixed up. I apologise for getting my Sylvia's mixed up. My S chassis mixed up. Next will be the Zenki Sylvia S14. Okay, next is the Zenki. S14 Sylvia, hold on. Okay. The, the second to last Nissan of the night is, is the Sylvia S14 pre facelift, aka the Zenki. Which has kind of like very like sausage like headlights. Or is it like a pink, those headlights almost like penises. Yes, I have a date sense of humor, judging me, I don't give a shit. What you niggas think? Okay. The next car will be the S14 Cat Kuki. If you want to pause the video to take a better, better look at this body kit, by all means, fucking do so. Okay, I'm not going to edit this video at all. After this video, I'm not, not going to edit it, it's going to upload straight to YouTube and Bob's your uncle. Take a nice, better look at the uh, S14 there. Okay, next will be another S14. This time is the uh, uh, preface with the S14. Okay, we're down to the last three Nissans with rocket money kits. And next is the another Sylvia S14. This time it's the newer pre facelift Kuki S14. And it has the rocket bunny boss body kit. And to some of you, this may look like a Plymouth Barracuda, but wrong. The front end is actually from an old Datsun, a Datsun uh, 510, and this I'm a Datsun Bluebird. The, the front is actually inspired by the Datsun Blue by a Datsun Bluebird. And has a and also the body kit 
just like the one that just like the 240SX, 180SX, S13, it has a rear bumper delete. It has a bit of a rear bumper delete going on. I really hope the the, form, the Formula Drift version of this of the Formula Drift S14 with this exact body kit gets added to gets re-added back as a seasonal reward or something, a festival playlist. Like I say, if you if you want to pause the pause the video, you can pause the video at any time. Does so it take a better look at these body kits if you think if I'm gonna be too fast for you? Next body kit is going to be the um, Sylvia S15. Hold on a minute. All right, the next second. This is the second to last Nissan in Forza Horizon Five, the rocket winning kit. And this time it's the Sylvia S15. And I've almost we're almost half an hour into this video. We almost got the half an hour. I want I want this video to be at least ten minutes long, but end up being half an hour. What what the fuck can you do? I oh, know I'm not even, I'm not I'm not gonna edit this video because. It's not supposed to be put this video's not meant to be perfect by any means by any means. This is by no means meant to be perfect. So I'm not gonna bother editing doing any editing and shit or, or shit like that. Okay, next car is the Sylvia, I mean 350Z. Just one more pan around of the Sylvia. For about 10 seconds or so. Okay, next car we'll be looking at is the Nissan 350Z. Alright, the next car is the Nissan 350 350Z with a rocket burning kit and that's the last of the Nissan the next car we're looking at is Porsche Cayman GTS Super BRZ Toyota A6 Golf GTI Mark 1 Mi Mark 2 and Golf Mark 7 oh. so we've got five more cars to look at four Technically four cars because Subaru BRZ and Toyota 86 are practically practically the same car. Alright, this is um, I'm tired from filming this. <sighs> Sorry about this my arm. Um, I've been doing this about I've been doing this about four, half 
40 minutes now, half an hour. So my arms get all tired. But the next car is we're, we're getting towards the end, so we're all right. Next is the Porsche Cayman GTS. See you on the other side, Batatas. Okay, next is the Porsche Cayman GTS. This this is this is this is three out of five German cars that feature a rocket bunny body kit. Five German cars feature a rocket bunny kit and and sixty and sixteen or fifteen, depending how you want to look at it, feature a Japanese feet uh, are Japanese you know Nissan Toyota Lexus Mazda and Subaru if you want to count them as separate cars but yeah there's that yeah. I had no fucking idea this would take so long that I've got time to do this. I've got fortune. I've got time to do this video, so I'm blessed. All right, I'm blessed. I had time to do this video. I didn't think I'd be this blessed to be honest, but here I am. Here we are. We've got four more cars to look at. Three. If you want to be extra, but yeah. The next car we'll be looking at is E Subaru BRZ or B yeah Subaru BRZ. Then it's Toyota then it's Toyota sibling the 86, and then Mark II Golf and Mark Seven Golf, and then that's a wrap. If I'm going if if I'm going too fast for you or if the video is too dark, adjust the brightness or watch the video in slow motion or pause it if you want to take a better look at it. Alright. So the next car we'll be looking at is the is the Toyota, I mean Subaru BRZ. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. Subaru BRZ is coming right about NOZ. I mean NOW. Okay, next is the Subaru. BRZ! And next will be and next will be its Toyota variant, the 86. And the one difference I've noticed between the BRZ and the 86 is, is, is the BRZ. The badge is visible on the back when you apply the rocket one spoiler wise on the Toyota version. The badge is not visible. Other than that, they're basically the fucking same. Tire. Thirty-four, thirty. Uh, wow. This is my longest video yet. So that's not over the over the my over the my collection videos. This, this is the longest video yet. Underground test. Next one. Like I, like I, as I always say, yes, no, I don't repeat myself. I'm not apolog I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to apologize for repeating myself at all. So I don't expect an apology. And if you want, if 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 you want to 
get a better look at the car. Just pause the video. I've said it so many times, but I, I'm not apologising for repeating myself, okay? I'm not going to apologise. Fuck off. I'm not apologising for repeating myself. Go fuck yourselves. But anyhow, enough of, the, enough of having a pity party or repetition. Hold on a minute. This is kind of lame anyway. Hold on a second while I do this. Hold on, wait, bear with me. Oh fuck, I fucked it up. Hold on, I fucked it up. Have faith, don't worry, have a bit of faith. There you go. It took a bit of faith and patience, but we got there. And the next car we're going to look at is the Subaru, I mean Toyota version of this car, the 86. Hold on. Alright. We are third from last of these cars with Rocket Bunny kits. The last two cars we'll be checking out will be German. Volkswagen Golf Mark II GTI and the Golf R Mark VII. The Mark 6, I mean the Mark 2 doesn't have a spoiler attached to it, and the Mark 7 does, but okay anyway. The Toyota 86 is basically the same as the BRZ or BRZ. Look, the badges have been deleted. The badges, the rib badges have been deleted on the Toyota, but on the Subaru variant of this car, they remain. The badge remains on the Subaru variant, but on the Toyota variant, the badges just disappear once you apply the rocket pony kit. Sorry about that, okay. I'm just, excuse me, I'm just, I'm just a bit tired from, from doing this video, I'm just a bit tired. I've got two more cars to look at. 38 minutes! 38, this, I've been doing this for 38 minutes. Fucking hell. If you want to pause the video at any time, so this body gets properly, just pause it. Alright, just pause. Alright, next car. One of the last cars we'll be having a look at, take a have a look, will be the Super. Fucking hell. Volkswagen Golf Mark II GTI. Okay, time for the second to last car. Let's go. Okay, this is 40 minutes, almost 45 minutes. Preset, oh, sorry, my bad. Fuck the preset. Alright, sorry about that. No, this car has no spoiler attached to it. Unlike, unlike the other rock cars and rocket wooden kits, I've spoiled this one. Is unique because it doesn't have a spoiler with its body kit, and the rest of them do. But here we are Volkswagen Golf Mark II.
Just one last card to look at, and that's the Mark One. I mean, Mark Seven Golf R. It's gonna for about two minutes. I'm gonna look at this card for about two minutes. So the final video was gonna be 45 minutes long. When I expected to be here for 20 for 15 minutes. I wanted this to be here for 15 minutes, so I ended up here 45 minutes, okay. Would have got enough space on this on, on this photo was gonna be fucked. But I know it's not a story. Good job I got space on this phone, otherwise I would have been fucked. Golf, GTI, and I might be insulting your your intelligence, but I'm not apologizing for that. Don't judge, don't hate. I I might be insulting intelligence, but don't judge me, okay? I like pointing out obvious things. That's my sense of humor. But anyway. If you apply the Rocky Bunny Body Kits in Mark II Golf, golf the, the Golf bumpers are usually um, plastic. Mostly plastic. But if you put on the Rocky Bunny Kit, it's colour coded to match the car. Like the side skirt, except the strip by the door matches the car. Everywhere apart from the rear bumper is color coded, as you can't as you can already see, which you can, as you can see, which as as you can as you may not be able to see, which you can. Is that making? Okay, Volkswagen V has one more car. Don't need, don't need to take a look at before we wrap this up. I'm getting kind of tired as well. This is why I like having a tripod. Holding up, recording, holding a phone in your hand. Holding a phone in your hand for more than ten minutes is kind of, is a bit of a chore. Let's be honest. This is such a chore. Okay. The next car we'll be taking a look at will be. None other than the Golf GTI Mark 7, which we'll be looking at. Hold on. Okay, that kind of sucks. Okay. Just a moment. Patience and faith, please. I'll be back. I'll be back. Patience and faith. Please have patience and faith. I'll be back. <laughs> 